Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm here with a quick overview of what's new in SDK 12.1. First up, the visualization enhancements. In SDK 12.1, we've added complex GLTF model animation that allows you to orchestrate a series of individual moving parts as a single articulation. Here, you can see a landing gear, which would have formerly been a complex series of articulations, is now super easy. The sound effects are not included. We've also added support for GLTF skidding, which will allow for more organic motions by deforming the outer mesh around an armature that functions similar to a skeleton inside. And a new water surface option for added realism on the high seas. Beyond the visualization, we added some pretty big analysis features as well. We've added over-the-horizon high-frequency capability to both radar and the communication modules based on the Volcap model. This model's skywave propagation and the associated losses in your analysis. SDK Astrogator has also added more high fidelity propagation models right out of the box, including an end plate atmospheric drag model to match the SRP model added in 11.7. We've also added variable area to both the drag and the SRP models. Hey, Cody Short, lead Astrogator developer. Did I get that right? All right. Cody approves. Moving on to SDK Aviator. SDK Aviator now provides support for plug-in thermal performance models that employs a variety of standard techniques to determine heat flux, heat load, and wall temperatures for any aviator trajectory. This kind of modeling is essential for both vehicle design and the analysis of offensive and defensive systems and tactics, since aerodynamic heating plays a significant role in a vehicle signature. Aviator provides a standard model based on NASA's TFALS work. And we've renamed the QualNet interface to be the Scalable Network Simulation Interface because SDK 12.1 adds native support for Scalable Network's Exata Network Emulator. You can now leverage both QualNet and Exata directly in SDK. Additionally, SDK 12.1 now adds support for nine-digit SSC numbers. Tyrum has been updated to the latest version and in Aviator, you can now promote aeronautical data sets to full-blown SDK analysis objects, and so much more. So head on over to agi.com slash new SDK. If you're already there, scroll down. Please see the release notes for the full details. Thanks a lot.